I'm Ronnie Tafoya and I've been attending Cross Point Church for about four or five years. And my story starts in 1987 when I bought my first car. And I thought that I was so grown up being able to qualify for financing on my own and having a car payment and building credit and, and believing all those lies that the credit card companies try to sell you. And that actually for me started my journey into debt that became such a deep valley that only God could get me out. Uh, fast forward to 2010, and in that time from 1987 to 2010, I had had credit cards with really high limits that I had maxed out and been unable to pay. I had been married and divorced. I had spent money out of guilt and out of uh, wanting to feel better, and the bottom line is through my fiscal irresponsibility, I was $60,000 in debt. To get out of that, I met with some friends and we put together a budget for me. And in that budget, I had set aside $150 a month to, do, to give God as an offering, uh, which was not a tithe, it was just an amount. And the people that I was setting up the budget with said, you know, it, as long as you start, that's, that's all it takes. God wants obedience, just start. So I started and the next day I got a letter in the mail from my company saying that a credit card company was going to garnish my wages. And that meant that I was going to lose about $1,300 a month in income. And it would last for probably four years. And after that, the next credit card company could come after me and the next and the next. So I was looking at probably 10 years of not um, having that extra income. So after my panic attack, I called my friends and, and we reworked my budget and took away um, things that we didn't really need like cable and phone and extra money to eat out and just everything we could think of and had a bare bones budget the money that I was going to give to God, I reduced to $100 a month instead of $150 a month. And that's when uh, God went to work with me. Uh, Brian had started a series on the blessed life and he was talking about tithing and giving God your first fruits, which to me equates to a farmer who uh, the first fruit that he gets, the first apples off the tree, he gives that to God, gives back to God to thank him for giving him the harvest. And God doesn't want the apple that fell off the tree and is all rotted out. He wants the very first one, the one you're most proud of. And so Brian was preaching on that and he issued the 90 day tithe challenge and said, you know, give God a 10th and see if you're blessed. And I thought, all right, people wanting money, okay. And, and it seemed like everywhere I turned, on the radio, on TV, what Brian was teaching, my prayer life, it was all leading me to uh, have a feeling that I should be giving a tithe, which is a 10% of my gross income, my first fruits, not 10% of what was left over. So I called my friend who helped me with the budget and I told her that uh, I think God wants me to tithe the full 10%. And the thought of that and being garnished makes me ill. And she thought, um, she told me that she thought that that meant I was on the right track. So I committed to tithing a full 10% and not just giving God a little piece. November of 2013, for the first time since 1987, I was completely and totally debt free. I was a living testimony of what God can do when you surrender to Him and when you obey Him and you allow Him to lead you out of the valley, even if it's a valley that you created. And um, so I think the key is to surrender to God, to listen to that still small voice, or in my case, the writing on the wall. And when your heart is leading you to do something, if it's from God, you will have, it'll be pounded into you everywhere you go, then surrender and obey and watch what God can do.